why Call of Duty 2024 is Black Ops Gulf War. So it all starts with Rural Menendez and the time period lines up perfectly. The Gulf War time period, the 1990s. And the future also lines up if they're remaking slash remastering Black Ops 2 into Black Ops Gulf War. However, they had a different villain in Black Ops Cold War. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to pull the same thing here with Black Ops Gulf War, Black Ops 6, Black Ops 5. The name's going around now and it might not be Black Ops Gulf War. The one reason I think it is, is Black Ops Gulf War has four wards and Black Ops Cold War had four wards. And if you look at it that way, I don't think it's a coincidence. I think that's potentially what they're saying is it's going to be a Black Ops game and it's going to be based off the war and it's kind of going to be like a Basically, something that takes place, kind of like uh, this takes place in between events. And I think that's where the Black Ops series is headed. It's going to be filling in all the gaps that we didn't hear about. And there was a lot of things in Black Ops 2 that we didn't find out about. So, potentially that's what's going on here. And... Perseus could be found out more. We didn't really learn much about that. So why would we be going right back to the old days instead of the future? Well, what if we were doing both? And the reason it's teasing the future is because Black Ops 2 is a futuristic game, but it also had some not so futuristic elements and it had some elements of I would have to say kind of modern not really modern but for the time period it was during the 90s and then it went to the future and potentially we're going to go back to 2020 Two, and I'm not sure, but I think it's going to be kind of a remake. And Menendez was introduced in Vanguard. So, who knows? I don't really know. And I meant 2025, by the way. That's the year Black Ops 2 is in. It took me a few seconds to remember that. But I think we're going back to 2025, and I think it's going to be an origin story of Menendez. And the time period doesn't make sense, and that's thanks to zombies. And you got to remember, Cold War Zombies was very successful. So if Gulf War Zombies is successful, it's because, well, the locations in Cold War were about the Cold War. So I think the zombie locations will be about the Gulf War and take place kind of in the water and we'll see a lot of water elements and locations and all that and maybe we'll see some potentially boss fights in the water and zombies. That'd be pretty cool, man. There were some in Black Ops 3, I believe. And I could see them pulling a modern warfare Two and it's going to maybe take two years and then this is kind of like Black Ops 6 and then maybe we go back to Black Ops Go For. There's always that possibility and they remake Black Ops 2 maps next year and it's kind of like that game but it's not fully like Black Ops 2 and it's going to be called the Go For. We'll have to wait and see but I do think Menendez is going to play a big role and I'm not sure yet but that's my theory on what's going to happen with the Black Ops franchise. And if Frank Woods is coming back, why would it just be set in the future? Now, I did mention Ruins, so maybe it is set in the future. I don't know. Or could we see maybe Ruins' grandpa, potentially? There 
there's actually been some teases in Black Ops Cold War about some of the characters, grandfathers, grandparents, since it takes place in the past of the characters in the future of Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3. So potentially, we're going to be seeing some of their elders in this game. So that gives me all the reason to believe that if it is set in the future, it's Black Ops 6. But if it is not set in the future, Black Ops Gulf War is going to potentially give us reasons to have a Call of Duty game in the future soon, or that's what we're going to get now, and then Black Ops Gulf War will go back to the future, maybe and get a campaign for futuristic Call of Duty. Or maybe, just maybe, we're going to stay in the past for a while. It's all going to lead back up to the events in between everything. We're going to find out all those loose ends and tie up the story and conclude the Black Ops franchise by going in between every game. And Black Ops games will just be for one year. It's my theory on Black Ops. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And one last thing. If David Mason is in this, if Alex Mason is in this, if Frank Woods is in this, and he's teased again, I think we're going back to the past. There's going to be a lot of futuristic elements. And we're also going to the future 2025. And I believe that that could be happening. And yeah, who knows? We'll have to see what happens. But that is my theory on Black Ops 6, Black Ops 5. Black Ops in between, I think, is what we're really getting here with these Black Ops games. And I hope you enjoyed my opinion on that. And it's my theory on what's going to be happening with the Black Ops franchise. And keep in mind, we did kind of get a prequel to Menendez before on the PSP. Black Ops Classified, I believe, is what it was called. And... I really don't know, man. Is this going to be Gulf War because of that? Or is this going to be set in the future? We'll have to see. But if it is around Raw Rule Menendez, if it mentions Frank Woods, it hasn't mentioned Park yet. And there's been kind of signs of Adler coming back too. So we got to figure out what's going on with Adler, if he's good or bad since the ending of Cold War and tie up his story and everything and finish his story and see if he's really CIA agent or if he's working with Perseus and Stitch. I don't think he's still around, but there's probably someone new who's going to be involved. And Zakayev. Zakayev was in the last game. His uh, grandfather, I believe. So, or it was Zakayev. I think it was a grandfather, though. So I think that's all the reason to believe that maybe we're going to see Menendez's father or grandfather in this game, or it's going to be the origins of Menendez, maybe as a young adolescent, or maybe it's going to fully be a remake of Black Ops 2, done a little bit differently in the time period of the Gulf War. And that's about wrap this up, and this legend signing off. Peace.